Welcome, y'all. Robert Palmer. Rest in peace. You read me wrong. I didn't mean to turn you on, not like you think. I didn't mean to turn you on. Oh, I didn't mean to turn you on. Rock with me. Anyway, guys, what's up? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. Thank you for joining me once again, my friends. And a big shout out to Sherelle too. Robert Palmer had a hit with that, but before he did, there was Sherelle. So uh, that's like for all y'all old heads out there. But uh, listen, guys, I want to talk about something. Let me ask you a question. Remember when movies were hot? Like when there was some real heat in movies. Like I'm talking about between the leading actor and actress. You know what I mean? Like love scenes, sex scenes, like when they was getting it in. Remember when movies were actually hot? Has it occurred to you? Have you noticed that movies today are not hot? Like when you have a leading man and a leading woman, you, you just don't feel anything between them. It's like they're afraid in Hollywood of the sexual tension between men and women these days. You just don't get it. And there's a reason why I believe that is, why they seem to run away from these things. And uh, it turns out, guys, that there is a such thing as an intimacy coordinator. This is something that is relatively new in Hollywood, whereas they have somebody, and this is actually their job, to stand by and watch. Hmm, they watch. I mean, come on. It's like a lot of us dudes. I mean, there's a lot of dudes out there. They just watch for free. You know what I mean? They call them cucks. But anyway, so these intimacy coordinators, they're hired. They actually get paid money to sit there and watch the two lead people, the men, women. These days, it could be women and women, men and men, whatever. But they sit there and they make sure that they don't go too far you know, they're intimacy coordinators. They want to make sure they're not too into it. You know what I mean? So um, I find this to be very interesting because if you're anything like me, when you watch those like sex scenes of old, you know, like make out scenes, whatever you want to call them, where the two are getting it in, right? I've always wondered, how much are they getting into this thing? You know what I mean? Like, where does the acting stop and the real human feeling start? Because I'm telling you, man, it's, it's weird, you know, to think that somebody is just going to be like rubbing on you, kissing on you and all that stuff. I don't care how professional you are. There's going to be some boingage going on somewhere. You know, I, I mean, just speaking as a man, you know, I know women are different, but men, you touch men and you know what I mean? You, there ain't that much acting in the world. There ain't that much professionalism in the world. But anyway, so you got this thing called intimacy coordinators, right? And actor Sean Bean professional dyer in just about every film he's in, Sean Bean has spoken out against the usage of intimacy coordinators. He did this. And I saw this story a couple of days ago, but then since then there has been a development where people are coming for him now. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're coming after him now. Okay. So um, I just want to get into this guys and get your opinion on this intimacy coordinators is this something that you feel is a good thing like it's supposed to be there to protect people or are you kind of like seeing what i'm seeing like since the in implementation of this it just seems like we're just not feeling the heat as much you know what i mean with our our movies and tv shows and everything and something is being lost in the uh translation right so anyway let's get into this this was in the huffpost.com and it says actor sean bean faces backlash after questioning intimacy coordinators. Now, Jamila Jamel of The Good Place and West Side Story's Rachel Ziegler responded to the Game of Thrones star's comments on Twitter. Game of Thrones star Sean Bean is facing backlash after saying that on-set intimacy coordinators can inhibit actors and spoil the spontaneity of sex scenes. You're busting his groove, man. That's what he's saying. You're busting my groove. You're killing my high. Like, I'm trying to get into this. Like I said before, with men, it's a little bit different, man. It's like, if you tell us we're supposed to be acting like we're turned on, usually it means we are turned on. 
I don't know any man who can just act like he's turned on and not be turned on. I mean, look, let me let me give it a try. All right. I'm not turned on at all right now, okay? <sighs> let me see. I'm supposed to act like I'm turned on. Oh, yeah, baby. Do it. Do it. Oh, shit. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. I mean, you can see, right? Not quite convincing there, right? But when you have the right, uh, let's say, uh, stimulation, then you're going to get the performance of a lifetime. We're talking about Oscar-worthy performance, right? So it says here, Bean, in an interview with the Times of London published last week, spoke about the job of intimacy coordinators, which have popped up on sets in the past years to help actors navigate and feel safe while filming vulnerable scenes. I tell you, snowflakes. And Sean Bean says, it would inhibit me more because it's drawing attention to things, said Bean, who played Ned Stark in the hit HBO series. Somebody saying, do this, put your hand there while touching his thing, the actor said with a laugh. I think the natural way lovers behave would be ruined by someone bringing it right down to a technical exercise, he added. When the Times interviewer pointed out the intimacy coordinators are to protect actors after the Me Too movement against workplace sexual misconduct. See, that's weird, man, because if you are, let's say the movie is um, uh, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. I mean, you know what that is, right? I mean, I never read the book, but damn it, I know what it is. It's supposed to be erotic. It's supposed to be something that's a turn on and you're supposed to be turning on your audience. How is there workplace misconduct workplace sexual misconduct what what defines that when your workplace is actually supposed to be sexual you know what i mean that's a little bit problematic if you ask me i, I don't know what do you guys think is it possible to do that or is it kind of like hindering the performance like sean bean says um bean referenced actor lena hall who filmed a nude scene with him in snowpiercer and he says i suppose it depends on the actress Bean said, this one had a musical cabaret background, so she was up for anything, let me tell you, brother. <laughs> Hall spoke up in a Twitter thread soon after the interview was published, explaining that she needed to clarify some information in this random article. And uh, Hall said, just because I'm in theater, not cabaret, but I do perform them every once in a while, does not mean that I'm up for anything, she wrote, seriously, does depend on the other actor, the scene we're about to do, the director, and whatever crew has to be there to film it. Sean is an awesome actor and made me feel not only comfortable, but also like I had a true acting partner in those bizarre scenes, Hall continued. She also recognized the importance of intimacy coordinators. If I feel comfortable with my scene partner and with others in the room, then I won't need an intimacy coordinator. So basically, it depends on whether the person you're doing the sex scene with is hitting the spot, whether it's, this person is making you feel good or comfortable, all right, if that's a better word. That's basically what it is, all right? So basically, she's agreeing with what Sean Bean said. He said it depends on the other person, you know, if you have that chemistry or not. If you're just, like, opposite, you know, like some ugly bugger or something like that you might have a hard time letting this person grope all over you if you're not physically attracted to them you know so it really i think it 100 percent does depend on who you're in the scene with all right but if there's any part of me that is feeling weird gross overexposed etc i will ch either challenge the necessity of the scene or i want an in intimacy coordinator now other actors such as jamil jamel of the Good Place and West Side Story star uh, Rachel Ziegler also responded to Bean's comments. It should only be technical. It's like a stunt, Jamil tweeted Monday. Our job as actors is to make it look technical, is to, to make it not look technical. Nobody wants an impromptu grope. Intimacy coordinators establish an environment of safety for actors, Ziegler wrote. I was extremely grateful for the one we had on um, West Side Story. They show grace to a newcomer like myself and educated those around me who've had years of experience. Spontaneity in intimate scenes can be unsafe. Wake up, she says. Um, okay. I mean, that's all well and good, but guys, I'm of the opinion that the scene will suffer for this type of thing. You know what I mean? It just seems so, um, no pun intended, 
wooden, if you ask me. And when you look at the current crop of movies that we have here and what's been passing for love stories, it all makes sense all of a sudden why you just don't feel it because they're not feeling each other almost literally you know what i mean sean bean is absolutely right it's got to be something organic it's got to be something that just feels right and you have to establish that with your acting partner before the cameras start rolling so you have an understanding that you're not just groping them but you're trying to be honest just like if you're arguing you know what i mean is there an intimacy coordinator when you have to have a scene where somebody is killing somebody oh, oh who's it? We're cut are you scared are you okay are you going to be okay with this? I mean, it's acting, right? So Sean Bean is basically like, he's basically like, Oh yeah, I tell you something. Boom, 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 boom. I hope you understand when I feel that something. Boom, 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 boom. I want to grab your ass. I want to grab your ass. I want to squeeze your ass, you know, just let me do it, you know, just let the scene go, let it flow, let, let, let it be organic, like I said before, you know, as long as you're not crossing any lines and you're like, like really just assaulting somebody on camera, like you do have an understanding what it is that you're trying to do, what feeling you're trying to convey, what, what you're trying to get across. You have that understanding and you have that trust. If you don't have that, just don't do the scene, you know, but to actually have a third party or fourth party sitting there like, don't know, touch him there, but no, you can't touch her there, you know, grab this, but don't grab it like that. Don't, don't grab it too hard now, you know, easy, you know, I think that's the reason why, you know, we see these scenes that are just not, you ain't feeling them, man. You know what I mean? Like, like, think about the, the movies of old, man. You know what I mean? Like, think about some of the hottest movies you've ever seen where the, the sex scene in there made you think, hmm, I wonder. You know what I mean? Like when Billy Bob is slamming and he's plowing uh, Holly Berry in Monster's Balls. You know what I mean? Like, you know. You know they was getting it in. That's the way it looked to me. That's the way it sounded to me. Holly Berry got an Oscar for that. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you th think that the employee of intimacy coordinators it's what's behind part of what's behind what is making these movies so like like flimsy you know what i mean so empty so soulless you don't feel the human connection i mean i don't want to see porn guys don't don't get me wrong that's not what i'm saying all I'm saying is I agree with what Sean Bean is saying. I can see where it can take away from the honesty of the moment. What do you guys think, guys? Get in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this topic. Do you agree with Sean Bean? Do you disagree with him? And why? All right, guys. Thank you for listening. I'll catch you in the next one. This is The Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on. I told you twice. I was only trying to be nice, only trying to be nicer, I didn't mean to turn.